Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie for Diesel Dollar Budgets and today we're going to be going through my updated planner system for the second half of 2023. I know that I just filmed one of these videos in May but my planner system has sort of changed so I just wanted to do an updated version of that and show you guys what I'll be using for the second half of this year. So if you want to know how I'm using these planners to keep myself you know, under control and organised then please stay tuned for more. Hi guys and welcome back. So as you can see I've got a stack of four planners here that I'm using uh, in order to keep myself organized for the year. Um, you have seen some of these in my, if you follow me on Instagram, I use a lot of these as some of my photos and I show you video, uh, photos and updates and flip throughs of these each month. Well, most of them, not this one so much because I've only just started using this one. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how I've been using these planners to just, you know, work through my own mental health issues and sort of keep myself organized so I'm on top of everything. Uh, just in my everyday life. So I'm going to start off with my bigger two planner fir planners first and let's just get started with that. So the first planner I have here is in a Motum black pebbled um, binder. This is a Hobonichi Techo A5 Cousin. So if you followed my video earlier this year you'll the system sort of really hasn't changed except that um, I'm using this a little bit differently I sort of took some stuff out of it that I wanted to do and yeah um, I did go from just a normal everyday you know start of 2023 onwards planner and I did go and buy a um, spring start planner so I then ended up backfilling all the pages that I used previously um, as you can see, I don't really do a lot of decorating in this. I've got just this little koala um, magnet that I got from Daiso that I'm, you know, just using as my little mascot. In here I've just got some tiny icons for Instagram that I use for tracking my socials. I've then got um, the Hobonichi pen board here. And then I've got uh, just this little envelope that um, my mum's a part of stamping up and she's a demonstrator so she gets those envelopes that's what some of their dies come in so it, that's just a brief outline um, I've then got this fountain pen here this is a Moonman A1 or it's also called a Marjon A1 and it's just a, their extra fine nib and it's inked with Diatramentus uh, Black Archive ink and it says extra fine but I'd say it's more of a fine nib uh, and that's just what I've been using to fill out this planner all the way through so let's just get started and do a flip through so there's not really a lot of decorating or anything in the first few pages I don't really use these pages um, I do want to fill in these sections here and use them as an index for what's actually in my daily pages but I still haven't gone through and done that um, I did make a decision with my uh, monthly pages that what I want to do uh, I was using them just for appointments but then it came to last month and I decided to do a sort of you know uh, account of the day like a um, gratitude thing in the monthly pages just to sort of give myself just a brief overview of the day you know things that I did and what happened during the day um, I haven't actually filled any of that out for this month yet and we're already at the 13th but I've you know I can look back on my daily pages and see what I need to fill in. Then going on to the monthly pages, I'm still using these the same way that I was using them back then where I've got them sectioned out into different parts of the day with a tracker and this week. So I've been doing that ever since the start, um, you know, just the same sort of layout. Uh, I just love this layout because it gives me a chance to, as I say, it lays out my day completely. So here we are at this week and if you follow my Instagram you'll see flip throughs and uh, just, you know, a weekly page, weekly photos of these, all of my planners actually, and just seeing like, you know, how I've been using them. So I like that I have up the top, I've got the important date, you know, things that are happening on that day, that could be a holiday, a birthday, anything like that. Then I've got my AM routine so that I can cross it off. As you know, I suffer from a lot of mental health issues and I need to remind myself because I get quite forgetful. 
Um, so, you know, if I don't have an appointment in the morning, I have an AM routine, but if I've got an appointment for that day, I put the appointment first, so that's the thing that draws my attention the first thing. Then underneath that, I've got my to-do list, because I like to have a running to-do list for the day, so I know what I need to do. My work section, which is technically a social media section, because at the moment I'm unemployed, um, with everything that's going on my mental health, it wouldn't be a very good time for me to be employed uh, in doing anything but I like to update my social media and that sort of thing so that's how I'm keeping myself busy and then down the bottom I've just got my PM routine um, to the side here again I've just got a tracker with a few little habits that I like to do and normally I have a running task list for the week but I just haven't done one for this week and I don't know why so in this social media part down here you'll see these sticky notes um, I tend to use these to organise what I'm going to be doing for the week in regards to social media. So, you know, um, I go a few weeks ahead. And then, you know, coming through, that's what I plan on using this for for the rest of 2023. I'm hoping that uh, come the end of 2023 to get the start of a 2024 planner, not to go with a um, April start again. So then just going into my April, this is, you know, just repeating what I had in my previous planner where I've got the um, key items, my sticker, commonplace stickers that I use to sort of say what's going on. And I've been using this as a mixture of a commonplace and a journal. Um, so, you know, I've been doing that for a few months and up until recently, that was how things were going. But then I suddenly decided, you know, I just want to put in things that have happened that specific day, not, you know, just random lists and stuff that's going on. So uh, what I've done is I've taken, well, let me just get to, we're in uh, June now in this part here. So I've just taken what I'm doing, you know, for the day, uh, what my plans are, and then just a journal entry, and then, you know, any of my... Um, commonplace notes I've moved into a separate notebook so this is just you know me going on and just commenting on my day and just you know working out how my life's going it's just a huge brain dump you know I've got things here about diesel and you know when we puppy sit for my sister's dog here's where I got my loop headphones um and yeah, just, you know, random stuff that, you know, have, has gone on during the day. So that's what I'm using this notebook for. And, you know, I'm planning on using that for the rest of 2023. And as I said, getting a new uh, Hobonichi cousin at the end of 2023 to begin 2024. Because this has just been invaluable to me. Just to be able to brain dump and get everything out and sort of just get everything out of my head. Um, especially... If you're suffering from mental health, you know that, and especially with anxiety and depression, sometimes things get you down and you just need to be able to offload. So that's what this has become for me. It's like my to-do list and it's it's my, you know, everything book. Um, so that's what that how I'm using that at the moment. Let's get on to the next journal. So the next book I've got here is again an A5 size. This is again in a Moterm cover, but this is the Pebble Deep Teal. And I've got my Stalogy notebook in here. Um, because my Stalogy uh, is a bit more floppy than what a normal Stalogy is, um, I've got a clear pencil board in here just so it's got a little bit more rigidity. And again, I've got some stickers in one of these little pockets that I got from Stampin' Up. Uh, just at the start here, I've got my commonplace key, which are different colours from what I use in my Hobonichi Cousin. The same sort of titles, but, you know, a little bit a little bit more broken down. And I've just got this as a commonplace book. This originally was my journal from earlier in the year, but because I decided to transfer all my stuff into my Hobonichi Cousin, uh, this book kind of sat by the wayside and went unused so what I did was I actually cut out the pages at the start and I've then flipped the journal upside down so that now all that writing is at the bottom and it just you know I'm able to brain dump anything in here that I want to so like I've got notes in here about setting up my reading journal um, how I wanted to have different content ideas for the year my tarot journal that I wanted to update 
and yeah just you know going on and brainstorming so that's what I'm using this planner for and I will continue to do that and this doesn't have to end in, at the end of the year this is just to a continuation of everything for the um, you know all my brain thoughts and just so I can empty it all out and sort of work on things um, so yeah that's what this commonplace book is for so this will have none of my personal thoughts or anything like that. Everything that's sort of reflection and th thinking things through will be in my uh, Hobonichi cousin. Whereas this is just like, you know, straight things I've copied down, any notes about uh, breeders, dog training, anything like that. Um, my reading journal, books that I want to read, just a whole bunch of information that doesn't have a specific day. So that's how I've decided to use this journal for the rest of the year and then probably going into next year as well. So there's my commonplace book and let's get on to the next book. So if you've seen my previous planner update sort of flip through uh, collection thing that I did in May, you might recognize this as being my tarot journal. Um, I'm still using it as a tarot journal, but back then I had a full year Hobonichi Techo in it, which is this book here, and it just started to get really, really bulky. Like I got to July and that's just one half of the year with all the stickers being in the same sort of spot um, it kind of got a little bit irksome and it got a little bit too chunky for what I wanted to do because I wanted to add a second book into my um, into my cover so what I did is I went and I ordered myself a Hobonichi Techo A6 um, Avec so I just got the second half of the year and this one goes from July up until um, May, uh, up until December sorry and I've just pretty much filled in the same sort of things that I've been putting into my tarot journal before. I do intend to highlight this section again and have my um, what my card drawers were for the year uh, for each month and then highlight them in different colours similar to what I did in my um, previous uh, tarot journal. And, you know, this is just helping me, still don't know what to do with the, <laughs> with the monthlies in this section, but, you know, just, this is still helping me to sort of study tarot. Um, I don't take too much credence, like, I don't put too much credence into it, but it's just nice to pull a card for the day and then have something to read and reflect on and write down. Um, and it sort of gives me, you know, a good way to start the day where I'm actually learning something, because I'm wanting to give myself information and sort of, um, you know, just have something to study. So, uh, as you can see, I've been doing pretty well. I've done every day this month so far. Um, I do like to put up my card draw and the information in my Instagram stories each day. And then on a Wednesday, I will do a complete sort of carousel of all the photos from the day, from the week. Um, or from the previous week, I should say, from uh, Monday to the Sunday. So if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, what it, how you, what card I draw every day, please go and check that out. But this has just been going really, really well so far, and um, I thought that pulling the Three of Cups today on the 13th was actually quite fitting, because the Three of Cups is all about, you know, celebration and friendship and that sort of thing, and gatherings together with family. Um, and today was my sister's birthday, so... That was actually quite fitting. Um, the other book in here is again another Hobonichi, uh, another Hobonichi brand notebook, but this is just their normal standard notebook. Um, and what I've done is I've turned this into a reading journal. So this has more become not just a, a tarot journal, but like a hobby book for me. Um, during I set myself a goal uh, during this year to start reading more. When I was younger, I was a real spine basher. I used to finish multiple books in, in a week and, you know, always loved reading. Um, and I really want to get back into that, but I want to be intentional with how I'm reading. And also, because of medications that I'm on, I'm actually not quite retaining information like I used to. So again, writing things down, um, if you're one of those people who learns better by writing things down, that's the sort of person that I am. So again, this is just a normal Hobonichi notebook. And um, I haven't filled in the first few pages, but I've left some space so that I can have a to be read list. So books that I've got that I want to read and then a wish list. So books that I want to read or want to buy. 
and then going into my first um, entry. So this is the current book that I'm reading and I'm reading it on my Kindle um, and it's uh, Days of Blood and Starlight by La La uh, Lainey Taylor. Uh, it's the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series and what I like to do is I just like to write all that information there, how many pages are there, the format I'm reading. So when I read the previous book it was actually a physical book um, and I was flagging it with page flags that I got from Daiso and that sort of thing and highlighting sections. Uh, but then my mum saw how much I was enjoying reading that book and she decided that she wanted to read it. So I gave all my physical copies to her and downloaded all the books on Kindle, which has kind of been better for me because, you know, I'm not highlighting everything in a book. Um, and you can highlight and take notes on a Kindle, uh, on the Kindle itself. So... Um, started this on the 24th of June, it's now the 13th of July and I'm still not all the way through it but I'm not that far away, um, you know I've got about 20 chapters left. But yeah I like to have just a synopsis, I've got my little star rating here that I can fill in once I finish the book and then just a chapter tracker which I can colour in uh, each time I finish a chapter and then just some notes on you know as I'm reading the book. Um, I got inspiration for this journal setup partly from Petite Scribbles here on YouTube and then partly from uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. So Petite Scribbles had this chapter tracker which I found really really interesting and I thought I wanted to incorporate it and then the notes section um, was sort of similar to what the Coffee Monsters Co. does and how she tracks what she's reading. So these are just little notes and thoughts about that I've had throughout the novel. And I'd like to continue this. It's just been really, really handy to sort of be able to get my thoughts out and be able to, you know, have more of a connection with the book. And, yeah, so that's how that's going. And I want to continue doing this for the rest of the year as well. And, again, because this one isn't dated, I can just keep going for however long I want to, however long I want to um, have a reading journal for. So that's how I'm using this. This has now become, instead of just my... Uh, tarot journal it is now a hobby journal so that's that one let's get on to the last book so the last planner that I'm using for the rest of this year is again one that you've seen before and if you know it you know it this is my Hobonichi Weeks with the bunny cover um, I absolutely love this planner this is my first year using any Hobonichi product and as you can see I've become just a slight bit obsessed um, Again, this is housed in a Moterm cover. This is, again, a black pebbled Moterm cover. Uh, I've just got my little uh, pencil board in there that this planner belongs to and an appointment card because if I do go out anywhere, this is the planner that I take with me. Although I do suffer from agoraphobia, so I don't really go a lot of places, but this is just good to have on hand. It's the one that I take, you know, upstairs and downstairs. It's the one that I write little notes and bits and pieces on, um, and it just has everything in it. Previously, I was using um, supplementary notebooks in this to have daily notes, but I've then since moved into just using the back pages of the Hobonichi notes. Um, because this one finishes uh, in December, but the new ones come out in September and they start the last um, week of November coming into December. So I'll be in this until at least uh, the end of November and then I'll go to the next um, 2024 one. And I hope that they've got some nice colours coming for the week's mega because since having all of it in one and not having to co uh, carry a supplementary notebook, I've just found it more uh, more convenient. Um, I did start off this year in a mega and, you know, I kind of regret moving back into, like, the smaller notebook because I didn't think that I would use the note pages. But now that I've got it all back in one, I'm really loving having those daily uh, notes in the back of the notebook. So I'll just give you a flip through of what how I'm using this. Um, again, I make all my own stickers, just so you know, but I know that Randy.Plans makes some stickers that are similar to this. Uh, but as I say, I use I create all my own stickers. I've just got sticky notes and stuff here for reminders, habit tracker, social media key, weekly task list, that sort of thing. And a bullet journal key right there. Um, haven't really been using any of those weekly or yearly overviews. 
pardon me, uh, this layout, I'm still trying to decide how I want to use it. It wasn't originally going to be like a, you know, a tracker of certain habits or self-care, which I think I still want to do, but I think I'm just going to, you know, we're halfway through the year and it's just going to go from July to November. So I really, you know, what's really the point? There's only, you know, five months left in the year. So again, I'm just tracking my Instagram, my YouTube, TikTok and Etsy sales. Um, you know, it goes through the whole year. I was thinking that I might write down how many pages I've read each day, but I still don't know. I, I don't know what I want to do with this. Um, going into my monthly pages, you can see that it's just highlights of like when I put out a new video, any appointments that I've got. And as it's gone on, um, I've also put down here my mood tracker for the month. As it's gone on, it's gotten less and less colourful, um, besides having the stickers on the side because I put those all in um, at the start of the year and I'm just finding that I'm liking the simplicity of having just a neutral color palette um, I do tend to use this blue uh, Tombow jewel brush marker and I use the um, brush marker tip if I'm highlighting something or I use the uh, like the texture tip in order to do just uh, solid dots for you know if I'm making a dot point or something um, but, you know, I just really like the way that this looks. I like that it having a bit of an accent colour. Um, you know, it sort of matches the front of the the Bunny Weeks cover. And as you can see, I've got a blue pen in here as well. So I like to have that sort of, sort of colour coordination. This, again, is another Moonman or Mojon A1 pen. But in this one, I've got... Um, a pilot vanishing point nib in the extra fine. Um, I really love the vanishing point pens, but the fact that they're two hundred and something dollars, I, you know, can't justify having a vanishing point pen for each of my planners. Um, so buying the Moonman barrel or Mojon barrel, and then you know having the um, uh, the nib from Pilot itself, having a better quality. Uh, white gold nib just works really really well and it's the same sort of pen so you know if you can get a, a ha um, hold of just a nib I don't think that Pilot's doing that anymore I already had this nib available from my Pilot Decimo and I just transferred it into the thicker pen barrel but you know it is what it is um, and I just really love how fine it is in the pages so yeah, just going on, um, I'll show you how I'm using the week, uh, weekly pages. So this has been consistent for the last couple of months. Um, I think, yeah, I did change it up uh, in May. Yep, so May 1st I changed it up and I started doing it this style, whereas before I was tracking um, on the side here any social media that I had put up in this little area. I'm now tracking that in my Hobonichi Cousin. So it's gone on to have, you know, just still having my little habit tracker for the week, um, then a this week section running to-do list and then notes for the, the week after for that week or the week following. Um, I've got in the weekly section on the left hand side, I've got a delineating line where I have my daily like events or tasks or any appointments in this section. And then I've got dot points for the main tasks of the day. So it's been going really, really well for me. I've found that this is really, really helpful and it gets me to sort of focus on just the first few tasks that I need to get done for that day. And unlike in my Hobonichi cousin, where I just write a big to-do list and get, you know, as much as I can done, uh, this is just sort of like, you know, uh, the highlights of what I need to get done that day. So... It's been going really, really well, and I've really been enjoying it. Um, it's working really, really well, as I say. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. Uh, so then going into the back of the notes pages, um, I haven't really done a lot in here. Uh, again, I've written out my index, and I haven't used it. I've written out my adulting log, which I have sort of kept up with, but it kind of fell off in June. Um, then a date night tracker. Again, that fell off. My gift ideas, that fell off. 
Um, so then I decided to start using this instead of using the supplementary notebooks, as I said, as my daily pages. So I just stuck down this uh, page here, which is a downloadable from Sterling Inc. Uh, and I just downloaded it onto vellum and then printed it out and you know it's worked really really well and I use this as a cover page it makes the pages a little bit thicker which I like so I can put my Midori um, index tabs on the page and coming into the first page I've got my habit trackers so I've got my habits my sleep which I like to record and then whether I've had nightmares sleep paralysis disassociation upon waking and then just down the bottom, again, having that mood tracker, um, which, as you saw previously, I also have in the bottom of my mood, uh, my monthly. Then going on to the next section, I've got this section here, which is what my, um, my psychologist has called my roles. So things that, I, that sort of make up who I am uh, and what I do during the day to sort of meet that expectation, if that makes sense. So I'm pretty consistent with that. And then we go on to the dailies, which, you know, I write out a huge to-do list at the start of the day and then just make highlights in this delineating column. And again, this has been working really, really well for me. Um, I wasn't doing the delineating column highlights of the day. Sorry, I just realized that I wasn't in frame. Uh, I wasn't doing the highlights of the day in the, uh, supplementary notebooks but because this is all in one thing I wanted to have something that was sort of like a yes you did a good thing today you've done you know encouraging encouragement let's let's you know this is the highlight so as I say um, it this is sort of like I transfer this information into my Hobonichi cousin um, just to say yes you did get things done today because my issue is that if I don't have something written down I won't do it and I won't have the um, motivation to do it. I get a lot of uh, task paralysis. If I overthink something too much, if I don't make a plan for myself, I won't do anything that day. So as you can see, here we are on the 13th. Um, it's now night time and I haven't crossed anything off, but anything that I have done, I will cross off. If I've done something else, I will add this to the list and then write down my highlights for the day on the side. I still haven't um, done my highlights for the day on the side here. Um, but I do just use these small little stickers that I've got that are my tiny tiny icon stickers that I've created for myself As I say any stickers that you see in any of my planners. I have made myself um, I can sort of suggest Randy dot plans. She does a lot of uh, Similar icons and that's where I've taken my inspiration from but because I wanted specific icons that are for me and specific notes and specific stickers for like, you know things that I want to do I wanted to create my own and it was a lot cheaper to do that for me than it was to you know order multiple things custom and then have it shipped and you know because they're not in Australia so uh, that just made it easier for me um, but yeah I do highly recommend randy.plans she is really really good from what I've seen um, and a lot of the information and inspiration I've got for the layouts in my planner come from randy.plans. I've got inspiration from uh, Petite Gloom, which, uh, you know, Megan Rhiannon on YouTube. She is absolutely amazing and I love her to death. Um, I, I think that she is very inspirational for someone who's got sort of a mental illness as well and, you know, watching her videos and seeing everything she's kind of influenced me a lot the same with um uh petite scribbles and that you know a lot of these different people on youtube you can find them everywhere so as long as you know copying your own thing and making it your own i think that that's all right um some people might look at this and just go oh you're just copying what someone else is doing but you know everyone uses their planner to their own advantage everyone has their own way of planning you just make it your own and I have taken a lot of inspiration from other people but what I have taken and how I've impl plant, uh, implemented it for myself it's been really working for me and I absolutely love my planner system like you know it may seem like a lot of planners to some people but being able to sort of have everything separated and not have to have everything all together it makes my life a hell of a lot easier and it just gives me motivation and it gives me something to do at the end of the day. As I say, I do suffer a lot from um, mental health 
and this helps to keep me focused. This is my brain, uh, an everyday task. My brain is like, you know, scrambled if I can't put it down somewhere and I don't remember things and yeah, I, I'm just weird like that and you know, this is what works for me. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I know that in 2024, I'm going to continue with this planner system. I still want to get another Hobonichi um, weeks for 2024, but I think next year I'm going to go with a mega, as I said. I'm hoping up against hope that they're going to have some nice uh, mega covers. I don't really like anything that's overly bright or anything, you know, that's one of the reasons I moved out of my week's mega before. Even though it was a teal and teal is my favourite colour, it was just too bright and I just, it really irked me a bit. Again, having the Hobonichi Techo A6 in an Avec uh, version works chef's kiss best thing ever because then I can have my no another little notebook in here as my reading journal and this is small enough that I can just have it on my bedside table and write down notes if I need to and it's just perfect love it love it love it again having my a6 uh, a5 sorry um having my two different journals like my you know just random brain thoughts and tasks and stuff that I want to get done in one notebook so that I can have it re to reflect on and not have a time span on it. That's been really good. And then having something that's a memory keeper, something that I can say, this is what happened during the day so that I can reflect upon it afterwards has really been helping. Um, it just, I don't know, my brain just works better with these planners in my hands and the way that my brain works. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, anything you, you know, if you want to know where I got any of these planners or where, what the covers are that I've used, you can check the description down below. Um, if you'd like to see flip throughs of any of these planners, please check out my Instagram or you can find them here on YouTube in my YouTube shorts where I have flip throughs of my weeks, my tarot journal and my, um, cousin as well. Um, so far I'm not really putting anything of my commonplace because there's just no real point. This is more like a work personal personal notes. So that's that's probably never going to be seen as a short but we'll see what happens. But hopefully I've given you a little bit of inspiration and you know you go away from this and you think you know that's a good system. So other than that I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.